Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about makeup sales, how not to get tricked by them, but also how to make the most of them to actually save money when purchasing makeup. This year, there really have been a lot of sales kind of on things in general. I feel like I'm constantly getting emails about various sales on different websites, but the thing about these sales is they can definitely trick us into buying things that we otherwise would not purchase. Now, it can also be really helpful to save money on things that you've also been wanting. So I'll be talking about tips and tricks to navigate sales and not to get tricked by them. I did a video, I think it was a couple months ago about makeup that I bought on sale and whether I was tricked by the sale or not. So I will link that video in the description box and let's get into it. My first tip is to just wait. I very rarely purchase things the second that they are released. And I would recommend at least waiting for a few reviews, swatches, because you may actually end up not even wanting the product anymore. You may find that when you see reviews of the palette or whatever it may be, you may not actually want it anymore. And that may actually just talk you out of it. And I would strongly recommend against impulse purchases. I think another important point is to keep a wish list. I have a makeup wish list of things that I want to purchase. And if that particular product goes on sale, then I will purchase it. But the key is to not get tricked into buying something just because it's on sale. I would strongly recommend against that. And also impulse purchases, definitely be aware. I don't have a lot of things in my collection that I regret, but I re recently did a video about eyeshadow palettes that I regret buying. And I realized that most of those were impulse purchases. They were not things that I'd really been wanting for a while and I didn't put as much thought into it and I later regretted it. My next tip is to think, is the sale really that good? Sometimes you get these things in the emails and it's 10 or 15% off. And the same with the Sephora VIB sale. I am not rouge at Sephora, so I would get 15% off at those sales. And I usually don't buy all that much because 15% off is not that much money, especially when you're talking about, you know, a hundred dollar eyeshadow palette. It's not that big of a discount. So Again, I would definitely keep that in mind because sometimes the deals are not as good as they seem. The next one is to imagine if that item was not on sale, but you had the extra money to spend on it, would you still purchase it? Now, sometimes we can see something that seems like a great deal and we want to buy it, but if we were not really previously interested in that item or wouldn't really want it at full price, even if we had that extra money, you know, then I would say that probably is not the right thing to buy. Now, there are some situations where maybe you were interested in something, but it just seemed too expensive for what it is. And then if you can get it at a discount, you know, then I do think that that is a good deal. But if you really would not be interested in the product at all, then probably not a great idea. Alrighty, and the next tips are more for actually purchasing things at these sales. And the first one I would say is check multiple websites. I have just noticed that checking different websites and checking specific brand website, I've just noticed that the deals are better there. For example, I've talked about it a lot, Pat McGrath Labs does quite a few sales on her websites and you would never see those discounts on her products at Sephora. I mean, occasionally you do, but definitely not to that level. At her recent sale, she had some of her palettes for 50% off. So I would recommend definitely looking around a different website and there are a lot of different retailers out there I've noticed. Of course, depends on where you live and things like that. And again, something else to keep in mind is depending on where you buy it, you know, the return policies and things like that may be different, but I've just noticed Sephora and Ulta definitely don't have as many good of deals compared to some other websites that I've seen. Next tip is to wait for a holiday because I have noticed that almost every holiday you can think of, brands will have sales for those holidays. I used to just kind of think of purely Black Friday as kind of the main time where brands were having great deals, but I've just noticed any holiday, even if it isn't as a major of one, I've noticed that brands are doing sales. Fourth of July weekend, so many brands were doing sales. Labor Day, I'm sure there's gonna be Labor Day sales. President's Day, I mean, really any holiday, I've just noticed I get at least a few emails about ongoing sales. So definitely something to keep in mind. And of course with Black Friday, there's also Cyber Monday, and it almost seems like nowadays the entire two to three weeks before and after Black Friday, things do go on sale. Alrighty, the next tip is all about checking different stores and retailers and their rewards points. Now, Ulta, 
in my opinion, definitely has the best reward point system because you can use the multipliers and you can get a lot of points to get money off your purchases. I've actually done an entire video on the Ulta reward system, so I will link that in the description box if you're interested in hearing more about that. I really do think that it is quite, quite good. Recently, Sephora has started to do um, you can use your points for money off. So I think it's 500 points, you get $10 off. It's definitely not as good at Ul as Ulta, but I think it's something, and personally, I think it's better than most of those tiny little samples that they were giving out. So that is something, it's not great, but I do think it's better than nothing, especially for Sephora, where they usually don't have a lot of sales other than their usual VIB sale. Also, I've noticed that even drugstores like Walgreens and CVS have reward systems as well, so that is something to look into. Alrighty, and the last tip is to wait for a coupon or look for a coupon. Now, Ulta does do 20% off for platinum, usually a few times a year, but actually this year they haven't done any, I don't think. <laughs> Not that I've received anyway, um, but Sephora does a VIB sale a few times a year but also a lot of influencers have coupon codes with brands and sometimes you can just find random coupon codes online or sometimes they'll do 10 or 15% off if you sign up for their email list, which you can always cancel that later. So that's something else to look for. You can always Google brand name coupon code. That's something I do a lot and sometimes I'm surprised that I actually do find some. That is definitely something to look into and at least try. Alrighty, so that is it for my tips and tricks on sales. I mean, I really think if you want something and it, then it goes on sale, that is definitely the time to buy it. Now, of course, if there's something that you really, really want and you don't really own that much makeup anyway, you know, then you definitely don't have to wait for a sale. I mean, for me, for staple products, if I need a mascara, I'll just go out and buy it. But, you know, for things like eyeshadow palettes, highlighters, blushes that I have a lot of, I'm really trying to get better deals on those things. And I've just found that if you wait a little bit, you can usually find things on sale nowadays. So there isn't a whole lot that I feel like is really worth paying full price nowadays. And remember, don't get tricked by a sale. Don't buy something just because it's on sale. But I think if you keep a wish list and look for good deals, then that definitely is a good way to go. So that is it for this video. If you guys have other tips and tricks for us, please let us know. That is it. Thank you so much for watching.